on the path. I am struggling with the last row of the rug. I want to finish braiding, but it lies there, stretched to the table edges, waiting for my last stitches. I chastise my mistakes, but my grandmother would have smiled and said, Watch how you join colors. Adjust the strips to match. I've stripped the pieces, 27 fabrics, a plaid skirt my mother wore when she was in Indian school in southern Oklahoma, the tweed suit coat my husband bought on our trip to Scotland, a piece of coffin black mourning cloth discovered in an old trunk. My grandmother's hands curved with arthritis, cut and rolled strips, planning another rug even at 93. New fabric's not the same, she'd say. It don't carry the stories. Even old wool, fresh washed, smells of sheep. Sometimes, as a child, I'd walk barefoot across her rug, feeling it give beneath my toes, soft in summer heat. Later, I hesitated, honoring her work. Nonsense, she'd say. Use the beauty in this world. That's what it's for. At the last, her crippled hands plated the empty air above worn sheets. Beside her bed, a basket of braids now disappeared into the rug on the table. Just as she taught me, all our stories laid bare to read. With a ball and chain. I am struggling with the last row of the rug. 